Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to have a little serious discussion today. I know we're, a lot of us are tired of hearing about it. It's, it's, it's on the news, but this is something that um, I've watched many times on YouTube. Uh, a lot of great channels are putting out the same message. So I wanted to get it out to my audience, which, uh, by the way, my audience is growing slowly but surely. I do appreciate all the support. But I do want to talk about um, the coronavirus, okay? Now, we all do some things that uh, we don't even realize. And um, if you think back of the scenario that I just went through, let's say that I walked into a pool hall or a, a bar, okay? And what's the first thing I did? I chose a cue off the rack, correct? Now. How many people have touched this cube before me? Okay. And this is the thing that's going to control this, this virus if we all work together. Okay. What was the next thing I did? Okay. I coughed into my hand. Okay. Now the experts say we should cough into our elbow. Okay. But I did cough into my hand, which you see all the time. What's the next thing I did? I picked up the rack. So now what do we have? We have germs on the rack. Okay. This is how things are spread. Then what's the next thing? I did? The balls. Now we have germs on the ball. Now I'm no expert, you know. I'm assuming that that's how the germs are carried: uh, rack, balls, etc. Um, so then, what's the next thing I did? You know, the chalk was sitting on the table. How many people use this piece of chalk before I did? Not only did I spread my germs from the cough onto this, but everyone else. That may have done the same thing and then what is something that we've all done i have some chalk on my ferrule let me lick my thumb and let me take that off correct okay so not only did i pick this up hundreds of people maybe even more i took that and put it right in my mouth okay that's things that we have to be aware of okay i did uh, write this down i want to make sure that i get a lot of information out to you um the county that I live in, in Florida, we have actually um, had a few cases, one death thus far. Um, so Florida, we have a, a number of cases going on and I look for it to grow, okay? Because now the testing is more available. So um, like I said, my county, not, not far away, a friend of mine works at the hospital and um, confirmed that uh, actually the second person wasn't doing very well either. Now they're older. Um, things like that, but still, um, you know, it's, it's a real thing in this area and across the nation, okay? So, some of the places that, you know, I visit frequently, um, a, a pool establishment, restaurant, maybe a combination, something like that, even just a pool hall in general, how many times have we, um, you know, in a practice session, um, you know, just in between, I need something to eat, you order a, a, a cheeseburger or fries or something like that. And, you know, what do you do on your fries? First thing you do, you pick up a ketchup bottle. How many people have used that ketchup bottle before you? Think about it. Um, wrap it with a napkin or something like that. Um, we have to really, really think about what we're doing here to keep this uh, under control. Okay? I, and we've all done it. Um, we'll do the same thing. Um, maybe we'll just play, play somebody randomly and... Um, you know, in between a practice session, you're just playing somebody, so you order a, a chicken sandwich or something, and in, in between shots, you've run over and you take a bite. 
Okay, again, all those things that I talked about, the chalk, the balls, the rack, all those germs are transferred, okay? And, and the biggest thing about this is, um, you know, the way that this virus is transferred. So not only would I transfer some, some germs to, you know, could be the person that I'm playing with and then he goes home, then I go home. So again, it's, um, we got to keep it under control. Um, if you watch some of my videos, you, you know that I go to the gym for, for fitness in this game. You know, if you're, um, if you're not in shape in this, you know, when you get to the end of a long tournament, um, it, it's difficult. So, but um, people in the gym, uh, a lot of them are, are inconsiderate, and that's just the word I use. Um, you know, they get done using machine, they're sweating, and they just leave. You know, every gym out there has a spray or something that you use. Wipe down your machines, okay? Keep that establishment germ-free as much as possible as well, okay? Another one is grocery stores. Everyone, everyone goes to the grocery store, what's the first thing you do? You get a cart, okay? You have to think of the hundreds, if not thousands, of people that use that cart before you. Um, a lot of places have wipes. If not, take a little pack of wipes and wipe that thing down as much as possible. Again, control the germs as much as possible. Um, and another big one that a lot of us may be faced with is a hotel room. Okay, if you're traveling to a tournament, um, you know, one of, the, one of the biggest is what's the first thing we do? We want to see on the TV what do we have going on, okay? How many times are those remotes cleaned? How many people have used that remote prior to you? The doorknob going in, the doorknob going out, okay? The telephone, you know, you pick up for, if, if you do room service or if you want uh, information on, you know, something in the hotel. Again, take some wipes, wipe it down, okay? Uh, I'm not a germ freak, but when something like this happens, we really need to work together and control this, okay? Um, now, you know, I know out there on YouTube and thick, or not YouTube, um, Amazon, hand sanitizers uh, price gouged ridiculously, but um, around here it's still available. Um, you know, use that, wash your hands. I, I just heard some on one of the big three networks this morning, one of the morning shows, I heard, um, you know, 15 years ago, it might not even have been 15 years ago, hand sanitizer was, it was around, but we didn't use it like we do today. You know, what happened to just washing your hands, okay? Um, just wash, wash, wash. And, and there's YouTube videos on how to wash your hands properly, okay? Um, one thing that I like to do, and one of my um, YouTube favorites, um, I actually commented to him, um, he, he did a great job, you know, and it gave me kind of an idea. I want to get this across to my audience. But, um, you know, on your cue case, very simple. They do make hand sanitizers, okay, with a little hook. So you can hook it anywhere on your cue case. Take it with you, okay, in between, in between racks, hand sanitizer, something like that. It never hurts, okay? So I know we're all um, not really sick of hearing of it because that, that's all you hear on the news right now, but we really need to control this. We don't want it to be a, a pandemic, so to speak. And um, we need to do everything we can do to control this. I know this was a different type of video today, but uh, again, this was a message that I've seen many times on a lot of my favorite YouTube channels, and I thought it would be great to get it out to you guys. Um, let's make sure we all stay safe and do our part and stay healthy, okay? Um, please comment, please give me a thumbs up, and um, please subscribe if you haven't. We're, we're slowly creeping up there, and uh, have a good one.